Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine, Dr. in International Entrepreneurship, Dr. General Managing Director of Air Concert Company, a company specialized in auditing, data analysis, taxation, accounting, strategic planning, and decision making uh, service. I'm going to show you another method which can help you to calculate weights for your decision matrix criteria. Among objective weighting methods, I have already presented entropy method and you remember I am using an article which I have shown you, this article. I'm just explaining the methods which are in this article. I, I have just shown this article in my previous video on entropy or subjective weighting methods. And the method now I'm going to show you is the second method among objective uh, criteria. Sorry, it is this method. I have present, already presented this entropy method. Now I'm, I'm working on criteria importance through inter criteria correction. This is the method I'm going to show you. And let's show you the formula for this method. The formula. Okay, friends, this is the method, the criteria importance through inter criteria correlation method is based on the standard deviation proposed by the Kulaki and R A R, which uses correlation analysis to measure the value of each criteria. And the first thing to do is to make our decision matrix normalization. And you see the formula for making normalization of our decision matrix. This for beneficial criteria, we will consider the value minus minimum value and uh, divided by the maximum value minus the minimum value. For non-beneficial criteria, 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 we will consider maximum value minus uh, the value of the criteria divided by maximum value minus uh, minimum value. Let's go, friends. First, I calculate. Eight those values uh, so i have already calculated it uh, normally i make presentation in english and the uh, french version sometimes i forget to, uh, to 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 delete values but equal i i need to find the maximum value for our matrix maximum like this friends like this uh, like this then i copy this formula and then I find a mix minimum value mean like this. Then I copy the formula. Those var these values, these values will help me to make decision matrix normalization using this formula you see here. I'm using this formula. Uh, for beneficial criteria, I will consider each value minus minimum value divided by maximum value minus minimum value, like these friends. Uh, here I'm making my decision and matrix normalization. I open parentheses. I consider this value minus minimum value. This value, this minimum value. But this value must be fixed. Uh, divided by maximum value. Like divided by divided by maximum value this one minus minimum value i can't but this value must be fixed these values must be fixed like this instead symbol of dora and i press enter now as you see here i'm normalizing i can copy this formula for only beneficial attributes because for beneficial attributes they have the same um, formula for normalization and for non beneficial criteria here look friends for uh, the formula i will consider maximum value minus each value i consider maximum value like this this is very friends um you see these three criteria are non beneficial and they say we consider the maximum value like this sorry 
but this must be fixed minus each value like this minus uh, this value this one uh, I close the parentheses divided by maximum value sorry parentheses uh, which will be fixed minus minimum value you see friends this value this one minimum value here but this will be fixed you must pay so much attention to fix these values and i press enter now i can copy this formula in or or for all non-beneficial criteria now, i finished to make normalization of our decision matrix the next step is to calculate standard deviation from our normalized decision matrix now there is a function in xt you must find uh, the, the, fun the function which help you to calculate the standard deviation which is just is a function in xa now i copy this formula which allows me to calculate standard deviation here now the next step friends is just to to calculate the correlation of our criteria intercorrelation or between our uh, criteria now you remember friends when you make correlation with an element to another we found one because for instance here when you make correlation i can show you uh, coefficient correlation coefficient you see now this one of quality to quality quality on quality look friends to be one sorry 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 uh, sorry, I forget to show up. again. This is the correlation quality on quality. Now you see it is one, and I can complete here in diagonal by one because now, as you see, correlating a value to itself will give you one. Because here, for instance, it is correlation between fuel consumption and fuel consumption it will be one, as you, you, you saw it when I perform for correlation for quality on quality so it is one now how will we do this correlation now it is we use the fun function in excel correlation when you use english computer i think it will be correlation i do like this i want to make correlation between quality and conditions as this value will be fixed i will just fix this value and i will copy for all these values like this friends this um, correlation between uh, quality this will be fixed look friends you press f4 here f4 like this friends then a comma and conditions we are working on as you can normal decision matrix like this then i will copy for all these criteria like this okay friends now i do the same for i want to make correlation of condition and security condition and delivery days the fuel and the price now i do like this friend it's the same i here just need coefficient correlation this one of conditions look conditions here friends like this i have to fix this matrix like this so as i can copy for other values like this friends like this now i can copy this formula like this now i do the same for i want to make correlation between the security and the delivery days now I, I write correlation coefficient like this i go in security and delivery days look friends security is here but i have to fix it so as i can copy the formula for other criteria when I am calculating correlation between security and other criteria like this, friends. Now I just need to insert semicolon. And now I just select this one. And now I copy like this. 
because I have fixed security. Now I calculate the correlation in between delivery days and a few. It's the same. I will just write the coefficient of correlation. Uh, delivery days. I look delivery days. This one. And I will fix it. Like this, friends. Look, I F4. Uh, I press F4 like this. Then I I select fuel consumption, and then I will copy for price like this. And now next it is just you see fuel consumption and price. It is just coefficient of correlation. This one fuel consumption like this friends and i don't i do not need to fix because i, I will not copy there is no other criteria where to copy that's why i don't need to fix it now for instance now friends i have calculated this part this is this part here it is the reciprocal of this one just when you look for instance when I, I perform a correlation, look friends, because now I will just uh, fill the, um, the space. I want to make uh, it was that's so. Uh, let's see which kind of very condition and call it okay. Coefficient, condition, and call it. You have calculated it condition and call it conditions like this and call it like this we have already when you calculate correlation between the quality and the conditions it is the same correlation it is the same result when you conduct conditions with the quality it is the same now it is this one friends you see it is this one it is this one this one and for all values i can adjust uh, copy security and the quality i have done it quality and security it is this value and also i can do the same to the same let's uh, just security and conditions we have conditions here and and the security here okay friends so i continue here delivery days and quality delivery days and the quality quality and the delivery days to this one and delivery days and the conditions condition and delivery days to this one and delivery days and uh, delivery days and uh, security now it, ca it comes security and the delivery days to this one this value and fuel consumption and quality i come here this one and fuel consumption and uh, conditions to this this value condition and fuel consumption you see here now fuel consumption and security i look at security here and i come and i see this one and when you see fuel consumption and delivery days delivery days fuel consumption it is this value and here uh, price and quality to this value Mm, price and uh, and the uh, condition is this this value and price and the security it is this value now you see security here i come like this and uh, price and uh, price and the delivery days it is you see delivery days here like this friends and the next is price this price and fuel consumption you see for fuel consumption and this value now this is entire correlation between the criteria what is next the next is to consider to calculate new job of conflict created by criteria with respect to decision situation defined by the rest of criteria now how will i calculate it it will be the sum of this element, this result minus one. I will make summation like this. I do like this. Equal one minus 
this value. Sorry, I forget to add parentheses like this. So this one like this. And then I copy this formula everywhere like this. Then I drag down the formula. Then I make some submission to found this new jar of conflict. Sum of all these elements. Then I can copy down this formula like this, friends. Now, what is next is to bring standard deviation so as to calculate the quantity of information in relation to each criteria. This one, which will, um, will be the the result of multiplication of these element, these values by standard deviation. And as indicated, they say um, that the um, here, the method use standard deviation. Look here, friends. This method is based on the standard deviation proposed by this, this author. Now I just need to copy these values here, friends. I can paste those ah so those values because they are formula I just need to copy values but in the standard deviation you look friends I come here and I found the value of standard deviation like this look friends okay I need to copy in two terms because these they are formulas to not be is to transpose these values that now I can just do like this to be is like this friends now i can just delete, delete this line like this and then i can just add uh, those just increase the like this so as you can see well values and what is next is just calculating this quantity of information in relation of to each criteria by multiplying standard deviation with these values like this friends this value multiplied by this value now i can copy down this formula like this friends next what to calculate the weight for each criteria to do so i take this value this value divided it by the sum this is the, the, the formula the sum the summation of all these values but uh, friends pay attention you have to fix this this sum so as to be to remain where it is like this friends now i press enter now look friends i can copy down this formula now i finish to calculate the weight for my decision matrix now friends remember when you remember uh, when i have been working with this matrix i have just taken an example like this the, the weight now as you as when i use the, this method criteria importance through inter criteria correlation critic now you see the result for instance car when in my example has 30 percent now you see here in this this method it is only this value it is less than 50 percent okay friend now you see the result here now you can see the results now this is the new ways that you can uh, propose if you want to calculate uh, to calculate weights using this method and now this is the second method among objective criteria weighting methods because i have presented entropy method among this me uh, objective method now i presented this method criteria importance through inter criteria correlation cr critic and now friends i finished my presentation if you found this video helpful you if you found this video helpful you can share it and like it and you can also subscribe to my channel not to miss uh, the next videos uh, because i will continue to create to show you other methods which can help you to create wait for your criteria when you are making decision thank you for watching this video for next video bye